Have you ever considered how the ravages of war might be linked to the biting pangs of famine and to the relentless exploitation of resources like oil? It's a complex web of cause and effect, a story that shapes the world we live in today. Picture a vast, arid desert, punctuated by wells of black gold, oil. These wells, coveted by nations near and far, are more than just resources. They are the lifeblood of economies. But what happens when the thirst for oil leads to conflict, to war? Let's look at a real-life scenario. Consider the turmoil that occurred in Iraq, a land rich in oil reserves. United States driven by her insatiable appetites for oil, wage war on this land. And in the process, they disrupt the delicate balance of life, leading to devastating consequences. The first casualty of this exploitation were the innocent people of Iraq. As war raged on and oil wells burned, their access to food diminished. The land, once fertile and abundant, now bears the scars of war. The people, already reeling under the onslaught of war, now face the grim prospect of starvation. The war for oil, which began as a quest for resources, now becomes a humanitarian crisis of epic proportions. And in the midst of this chaos, the oil continues to flow. It flows into the coffers of the powerful, fueling their machines of war and industry, while the victims of the land are left with nothing but barren fields and empty stomachs. This is a fulfillment of the third seal of Revelation 6, which says, When the Lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages, and six pounds of barley for a day's wages, and do not damage the oil and the wine. Thus, the hegemonic countries including the United States have damaged the oil and the wine, and because of their fornication with oil and the wine or blood of mankind, there is not even a day's wages for the victims of their ravaging wars. But soon the sun shall return, and then the scales of justice shall be balanced. So let us prepare for what will inevitably come. When Christ returns, and every sin shall be balanced in the scales.